Introduction, The Immigrant's Dream In the bustling streets of Pittsburgh during the late 19th century, a story was unfolding that would redefine the American dream. Andrew Carnegie, a Scottish immigrant with little more than a fierce determination and an insatiable thirst for knowledge, was about to transform the steel industry and become one of the wealthiest men in history. But Carnegie's legacy transcends mere financial success, it offers profound lessons on hard work, education, philanthropy, and humility that resonate even today. From his modest beginnings to his monumental achievements, Carnegie's life is a tapestry woven with rich experiences and valuable insights. Each chapter of his journey reveals principles that can inspire us to navigate our own paths in a complex world. Chapter 1, The Power of Lifelong Learning Carnegie's story begins in a small, crowded home in Dunfermline, Scotland. As a child, he witnessed his father's struggles as a weaver, facing the harsh realities of industrial change. The family's financial struggles forced them to immigrate to America when Andrew was just 13 years old. Arriving in Allegheny, Pennsylvania, Carnegie quickly learned that education could be his ticket to a better life. The Library as a Sanctuary With limited schooling, Carnegie turned to the local library. It became his sanctuary, a place where he could immerse himself in books that spanned every subject imaginable. This thirst for knowledge would shape his worldview and lay the foundation for his future success. He believed that reading was not just an escape, it was a tool for empowerment. Carnegie's mantra was simple, a library outranks any other one thing a community can do to benefit its people. He lived by this principle, later funding thousands of public libraries across the United States, ensuring that others could access the same transformative power of knowledge that he had. A lesson for today. In a world overwhelmed by information yet starved for wisdom, Carnegie's emphasis on lifelong learning serves as a beacon. Whether through books, online courses, or conversations with mentors, the pursuit of knowledge remains vital. In our fast-paced lives, taking time to learn and grow can open doors we never imagined possible. Chapter 2, The Value of Hard Work and Perseverance Carnegie's journey was anything but smooth. Early jobs as a bobbin boy and telegraph messenger were fraught with challenges. Yet, he embraced these experiences, recognizing that every obstacle was an opportunity for growth. The Road to Steel In the 1850s, Carnegie entered the railroad business, where he honed his skills and began investing wisely. When the Civil War erupted, he seized the opportunity, supplying the Union Army with steel rails. This venture catapulted him into the burgeoning steel industry, where he faced fierce competition. Carnegie believed that success was not a matter of luck but the result of relentless hard work and unwavering perseverance. When faced with setbacks, he often reflected on his humble beginnings, using them as fuel to propel himself forward. His mantra was clear, there is no man who is a failure who does not have a good excuse. Resilience in Adversity one of Carnegie's notable challenges was the 1877 railroad strike, which threatened to disrupt his operations. Instead of succumbing to despair, he negotiated with his workers, understanding that cooperation was essential. This ability to adapt and find common ground underscored his belief in the importance of hard work coupled with empathy. Inspiring others to persist Carnegie's life reminds us that perseverance is often the key to unlocking potential. In a world filled with distractions and obstacles, his story encourages us to embrace hard work and resilience. Whether in our careers or personal lives, the path to success is rarely a straight line, it often requires us to navigate detours with determination. Chapter 3, Philanthropy, The Duty of Wealth as Carnegie amassed wealth, he grappled with the moral implications of his fortune. 
His wealth had come from industries that thrived on labor, and he felt a profound sense of responsibility to give back to society. The Gospel of Wealth In his essay, The Gospel of Wealth, Carnegie articulated a philosophy that would guide his actions for the rest of his life. He believed that the wealthy had a moral obligation to use their resources for the greater good. The man who dies rich dies disgraced, he famously declared, underscoring his conviction that wealth should serve humanity. Building Lasting Institutions Carnegie's philanthropic endeavors were not mere donations, they were investments in the future. He established libraries, educational institutions, and cultural organizations. His funding of over 2,500 public libraries stands as a testament to his belief in empowering communities through knowledge. The impact of libraries, Carnegie's libraries became vibrant centers of learning, where people could access books, attend lectures, and participate in community activities. They provided a pathway to education for those who might have been left behind. Endowing educational institutions, he founded Carnegie Mellon University and the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching, ensuring that future generations would have access to quality education. The Legacy of Generosity Carnegie's philanthropic legacy teaches us that true wealth is measured not by what we accumulate but by what we give away. In a time when the disparity between rich and poor continues to grow, his belief in the duty of the wealthy to uplift society remains more relevant than ever. By investing in education, health care, and the arts, we can foster a more equitable world. Chapter 4 – Embracing Change and Innovation Carnegie lived through a period of profound industrial change, and he understood that innovation was the lifeblood of success. He was not only a participant in this transformation but also a catalyst. The Steel Revolution Carnegie's foresight in embracing new technologies revolutionized the steel industry. He was an early adopter of the Bessemer process, which allowed for the mass production of steel. This innovation enabled him to produce high-quality steel at a fraction of the cost, giving him a competitive edge that would dominate the market. A vision for the future Carnegie's ability to anticipate market needs was remarkable. He understood that as America expanded, so too would the demand for steel. From railroads to skyscrapers, steel was the backbone of a rapidly developing nation. His strategic investments not only enriched his fortune but also contributed to the nation's infrastructure. Fostering a culture of innovation Carnegie also believed in empowering his employees to innovate. He encouraged them to experiment, to think outside the box, and to challenge the status quo. This collaborative spirit fostered a culture of creativity that propelled his businesses to new heights. Lessons in Adaptability Carnegie's journey teaches us that in an ever-changing world, adaptability is essential. Embracing change and fostering innovation are critical for both personal and professional growth. Whether in business, technology, or our daily lives, being open to new ideas and approaches can lead to breakthroughs and opportunities. Chapter 5 – The Power of Relationships Carnegie understood that success is rarely a solo endeavor. Building meaningful relationships and cultivating a strong network were integral to his achievements. Teamwork and Collaboration Throughout his career, Carnegie surrounded himself with talented individuals who shared his vision. He believed in the power of teamwork, recognizing that diverse perspectives could lead to better outcomes. The right people, he often hired the best minds in the industry, empowering them to take risks and make decisions. This collaborative approach not only strengthened his businesses but also fostered loyalty among his employees. Mentorship and Learning Carnegie valued mentorship and sought guidance from those he respected. He formed alliances with influential figures, such as J.P. Morgan, 
and learn from their experiences. The importance of networks, Carnegie's ability to cultivate relationships not only enhanced his business acumen but also opened doors to new opportunities. His story highlights the importance of building a network that supports growth and collaboration. Human Connection in Business At its core, Carnegie's success was rooted in human connection. He understood that genuine relationships are the foundation of trust and collaboration. In a world where technology often replaces face-to-face -face interactions, his story reminds us of the enduring value of personal connections. Chapter 6, Goal Setting and Vision Andrew Carnegie was not just a dreamer, he was a doer. His ability to set clear goals and articulate a vision was crucial to his success. Long-Term Vision From the outset, Carnegie set ambitious goals for himself. He envisioned not just wealth but a legacy of impact. His strategic foresight allowed him to navigate the complexities of the steel industry while keeping his long-term goals in sight. Balancing ambition and realism, Carnegie understood that setting lofty goals required a balance between ambition and realism. He crafted actionable plans to achieve his vision, breaking down larger objectives into manageable steps. The Importance of Adaptation As he pursued his goals, Carnegie remained adaptable. He was willing to reassess and pivot when necessary, understanding that the landscape of business was constantly evolving. Practical Goal-Setting Techniques Carnegie's approach to goal setting can serve as a model today. Here are some practical techniques inspired by his methods. Smart goals set specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound goals to track progress and stay focused. Visualization Carnegie likely practiced visualization techniques, imagining his success before achieving it. This mental practice can enhance motivation and clarity. Regular reflection, taking time to reflect on progress and reassess goals ensures that we remain aligned with our vision. The Legacy of Visionary Leadership Carnegie's ability to set and achieve goals underscores the importance of having a clear vision in any endeavor. In our fast-paced world, cultivating a long-term perspective can provide direction and purpose. Chapter 7, Humility and Kindness Despite his immense wealth and status, Carnegie remained grounded. His humility and kindness were defining traits that endeared him to many. The Human Side of Wealth Carnegie believed that wealth should not breed arrogance. He often engaged with people from all walks of life, valuing their stories and experiences. He understood that success is not merely about financial gain, it is also about the impact we have on others. Community Engagement Carnegie was known for his philanthropy, but he also took the time to interact with the communities he served. He visited libraries, attended local events, and engaged with those who benefited from his contributions. A Model for Modern Leadership in an age where wealth often correlates with status, Carnegie's humility offers a refreshing perspective. His life teaches us that true leadership is rooted in empathy and service to others. By treating people with kindness and respect, we can build stronger communities and foster a sense of belonging. Practicing Kindness Carnegie's legacy of kindness reminds us that small acts of generosity can have a profound impact. Whether it's lending a helping hand, listening to someone in need, or supporting charitable initiatives, we can all contribute to a more compassionate world. Conclusion, A Lasting Legacy Andrew Carnegie's life is a remarkable journey that offers invaluable lessons for us all. His commitment to lifelong learning, hard work, philanthropy, adaptability, relationship building, goal setting, and humility creates a blueprint for success that transcends time and circumstance. In a world marked by challenges and uncertainties,
Carnegie's story encourages us to embrace our potential, uplift others, and strive for a better future. By internalizing these lessons and applying them to our own lives, we can honor Carnegie's legacy and contribute to a more equitable, compassionate, and thriving society. As we navigate our paths, let us remember Carnegie's guiding principle, the man who is greatest among you shall be your servant. In the end, it is not the wealth we accumulate but the lives we touch that defines our true success.